course of the next year. I'm sorry, you guys are going to have to be very physically conservative over the course of this next year. But I think if you do people wrong, you're going to hurt yourself in the long run. And nobody's going to want to work here. Ms. Parker, a budget that we can take maintenance of effort to the, to the board tomorrow night or sometime in the future. I have one other question. Are we not looking at some more BEP money on those positions that we students we have and they're not giving us money for where we were at? Jobs, I'm not, I'm not saying that at all. But that's that's all that we were we were given, um, and if that is the direction we want to go, I may support it. I don't I don't know yet. It's still I'm still kind of up in the air. Um, not saying that's where I want to cut, but I think we're gonna we've got to find it somewhere because I like others have said. Am not prepared to enter another budget without textbooks, and I don't, I don't um, want to take it out of fund balance again. And then we tell those people, you know, goodbye. One, we didn't get a whole lot of major savings from it, and then two, we heard a lot of people who've been loyal to this school system. So when we cut people, we're cutting people who really care about the kids and about our school system. So it should be entered into extremely lightly. That is why, you know, three years ago I proposed a right-sizing model that makes those cuts in a way that is not so hard. We know in some of our schools we're way overstaffed, but we don't have to grab all of that human capital back at one time. We can implement this model and grab it back a little bit at a time. Because uh, again, some of these people, have, the spouses have lost their jobs, and then if we cut them, they will lose their jobs also. And then it hurts some of our children in the county. And if we can go to fund balance and pay for these ELA books and do it one time, um, then we implement the model next year, we'll be closer to where we want to be. With regard to purchasing ELA, it puts us on, on the track that we talked about with the textbook recovery plan. This was the year that we said that all we need to do was get to ELA, and then in that third year, we'll get to social studies and science. So we will still meet what we said we were going to do, and we're still on track and we're catching up. And I'm proud of you all for making those tough decisions to do it. It's not easy. But once we get that model in place, it will be a little easier to make these kind of tough decisions because it's tough. It's tough to cut people right now, but that's my take on it. And uh, thank you all for listening. I appreciate it. I don't know who was next. Uh, that's where I'm, I would rather see us look at where we can cut. If we have to cut positions, I would rather us cut positions from, not from the, the top, the cream of the crop. The work that's been done and being, being done in this district by trying to keep as many people as we can employed during this time of pandemic, and we don't know when this is going to turn around. We have no earthly idea when that's going to happen. As other districts around us are cutting, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60, Wilson County two weeks ago, th three weeks ago, cut 70 people, 70 teachers out of their budget. You know, I told you guys a couple weeks ago, teachers are watching. They're watching to determine which school systems they want to go to by determining who honors whom. So we brought to you tonight a balanced budget that honors the direction this board has taken for the last four years in order to preserve instruction in the classroom. And the recommendation is once the books close and everything rolls in, you can begin to take some of that additional money, put some of those resources back in the classroom. We're going to have CARES Act money that will be able to add digital curriculum back in the kids will be able to access even if we're not out of school Eric's going to have operational expenses those are going to be there buildings don't get better with time they're not like wine they get worse we would love to mix all of this up and do some different things but going back to what you said chair Kendra this isn't the time this is this is not the time right now uh, one other thing I have a big lights on